my god, dude. Are you kidding me? That oh my I'm done. I'm done, dude. I'm done. It's like you might as well be like, I'm a lottery winner, dude. Um, okay, let's do this. Strangers rank themselves richest to poor. On March 16th, that's when I transitioned to do full-time social media. That's quite the background. <laughs> <laughs> this means a lot of debt. That's <laughs> $382,000 in student. Oh my gosh. Oh. Save your fam and taste, serve your fam and taste to Utah? Wait. Cranberry and pickle pie. Apparently it's a Utah thing. Have you ever tried it? What? Yo, okay. You want a hot take? Honestly, you want the hottest of takes? That couldn't be that bad. I mean, it, it could be decent. I don't know. Mr. B Squid Game. We already watched it. Just saying. I would, I would try Scott. it. It's like putting a slice of cheese on apple pie. You guys ever hear about that? Like some people like to put a slice of American cheese on top of apple pie. A little saltiness, a little salty, a little sweet, you know? Dude, explore different territories, okay? Open up your palate, that's all I'm saying. I'm 30 years old and I work for a utility company. I'm Elena, I am 28 years old and I'm a doctoral student in the occupational therapy program at USC. Okay, she broke his f bro. One of them is PhD, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's automatically the most broke and mother always think phds are the most wealthy because people are so dumb straight up she's the most well uh, she's the most broke that's a broke i'm hillary broke i'm 22 boy. and i am a nanny i'm jenny i run a design agency and i'm 29 years old uh, i'm dominic andre i'm 20 years old and i'm a content creator i heard content creator i think i made another assumption that like ah, he's doing it for fun <laughs> Okay, one of these people has millions in the bank, and I just don't know who it is. How do you guys like to spend time? Roller skating, just hanging out with friends. I like building things. I've had like animals, like reptiles and things in the past. I build cages, helping my friends redo Wait. their whole deck. Like it's what What's I do. What's this guy's job again? What's this guy? I missed it. What's this guy's job again? Utility worker. For fun. What about um. you? Um, I honestly just hang out with my friends and like go, like I moved to LA in May. I've spent money on like universal, like tickets. Nannies in, in especially Los Angeles can be caked up because they're working with like rich people's children. So a lot of rich people straight up lace their nannies up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put PhD at the bottom, straight up, definitely least amount of money. Uh, Utility workers make a pretty decent wage as well, depending on what they're doing, depending on whether they're unionized or not. So I, I, I think like she might be number one, business owner number two, utility worker number three, unless the utility worker is number one. Um, I don't know, but PhD is like definitely that. the least amount of money and the content creator is probably like the second least. I really do that much crazy stuff or anything. I haven't traveled in 15 years. Anytime I have free time, like I'll pick up a plane ticket, go somewhere. As soon as I turned 17, it was just like Going. one travel after another. It's just like, that's, that's like so literally my number one passion. Same. I genuinely just like thought that she had money. <laughs> like this girl's like well off just by like her vibes. Based on like what you're wearing doesn't necessarily tell you how much someone's worth. Even like what I'm wearing, this is probably put together for like less than a hundred bucks. So I started to uh, do a bachelor's in philosophy and political science. And then after that, I transferred to do a master's in international relations with a focus on Middle Eastern conflict. And then I worked as a mental health therapist trainee. Basically we have to do like 3000 hours, almost free. And then COVID hit on March 16th. Yeah, this guy's broke as bro. This is a broke boy right here, no shot. That's when I transitioned to do full-time social media. And then I started to try and just do that focus that as my full career. That's quite the background. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a broke boy, straight up. Just means a lot of debt. That's <laughs> $382,000 in student. Oh my gosh, wow. So I've been doing like nannying and babysitting off and on for like five years maybe. And then I spontaneously moved here in May. My new job is a production slash personal assistant for a celebrity makeup artist. So I just accepted a new job, but I'm still working my nanny jobs. I just finished my master's degree, got that. Ooh. Oh, never mind. That's not a well-paying job at all, dude. Nanny for like a super rich person, you're, you're caked. But if you're doing like PA work for like a YouTube celebrity makeup artist, huh, probably not. Okay, that's not going to be a well-paying job at all. Got the people saying 380 k that's a house? Brother, 
Do you not understand? Like that is the most American thing. Losing, not having money. Uh, like, I mean, that, that's college, dude. You're, you're paying for college. That's just the most American thing ever is just like spending, uh, an ungodly amount of money, uh, is, is just, that's the college shit. In the mail, I was so happy, and now I'm in the doctoral program. So it's a clinical doctor, just one more year. Thankfully, you get a fucking what house. What was I got a pretty good scholarship. You get you go to college, and then you go get a house. Is, is a wrap. Ship from USC, and then I'm in the military part time. So that's another source of income. So I went to specifically a school for exotic animal training and management. No wonder why you're building cages for animals. Build one for mine. I have a snake. <laughs> there you go. I work for a utility company. I'm a, a meter reader. With the animal field, they're not very solid job. I was even in the entertainment industry with animals for a while and it's a very much a feast or famine. I enjoy the stability of, of a government job. I did my dual master's degree. In that dude makes 250K a year or $200,000 a year, I'm calling it. In international business. Uh, and I did that at Purdue and a business school in France. And then started my company about five, almost five and a half years ago. Wait, what company is it? Sorry. Uh, software design. Wow. She had a successful business for over five years. She went to school in France. I. Thought that she had quite a good setup for her. Meter readers make, meter readers probably make around, depending on where they're at. Dude, are you kidding me? He's a meter reader, bro. Are you kidding me? He, he's like, he's making like 100K minimum. 100K minimum plus benefits, probably 150K. Herself. Dominic, you mentioned you have a lot of debt, so maybe you don't have a lot of money, so I'm gonna go with you as number one. Five, you are still in school. I think with the scholarship, they probably give you enough money to get by, but not a whole lot, so you're gonna be number four. Hillary, number three. I'm gonna put myself, Scott, at number two, and then Jenny, I'm gonna put you at- Chad has no idea how amazingly well the readers get paid, he's caked up as Yes, because Chad has never worked or has like anyone who is an adult. How much does a meter reader make in Los Angeles? The average meter reader salary in Los Angeles is 56,000, but the range typically falls between 50 to 64. I disagree. I don't agree with that. What is that fucking one. door, I'm going uh, to say glass Dominic door or whatever? As well. we'll Number see. four, I'm going to put myself. Number three, I would say Scott. And then number no two, shot. I would say Hillary. Things are changing, but you kind of sound a little bit well connected with like working with one family maybe and then getting to work with a celebrity artist, but I'm just assuming. And You're then- You're looking at a starting salary, dude. No shot. And one, I'm gonna put Denny because you own a company and then you talked about just being able to like on your free time buy- Unless you're literally talking about like, uh, like LA Dot. Unless you're personally talking about LA uh, Department of Transportation, like parking meter shit, you're wrong. I'm going to go with myself for five, Dominic for four, Scott, number three, number two, Elena, and then number one, I'm going to go with Jenny. Dude, that's so dumb. Unless she's a trust fund baby, that's number five, dude. That is number five. I like the number. Oh, she put herself at number five. Okay, then yeah, she's not. She's not getting caked at all. I was wrong about her. On spot. <laughs> I am gonna start with Hillary for five, just because you were nannying and just switched jobs. Four, I'm gonna say Alina. Three, I'll say Scott. And I'm actually, I think you're kind of like wow. the wild card. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, oh, I, yeah. And, I think this dude is number two, okay? I thought she was number one, but I'm wrong now. I think this dude is number two. She's, this is five, five, four is correct. This dude is number two. And then between him and, uh, I don't know who would be number one. He might be number one still. I guess I'll put myself in number one. I actually initially thought Dominic would be the first place. I think she's going to be, I, I think she's going to be number two and the uh, union, or not union, but the media reader is going to be number one. Content creators, if you're big, like you can make a lot of money. I'm going to say number five. Well, if you don't know who this person is and they're a content creator, then they're not number one. Okay. That's how this works. If you have no idea who this content creator is, then very likely he's not caked up because the only content creators that make a lot of money are people who like are at least somewhat notable. I'm going to be surprised. You said you were in the military and are you doing reserves? Mm -hmm. With all that schooling, you probably went to do reserves. So they paid for your school, which means you probably didn't have as much money. So I'd put you number five and then number four. You have a good government job. Um, so I'm going to say number three. 
and then I'll put you at number one and then me at number two. In my head, I was like, well, I don't want to be first, especially if I'm wrong, because I know that I was like, that it's not going to be like absurd if she had just like millions in the bank. My parents had me when they were really young. My mom was 16 and my dad was 18, and so they did not save up for me to be able to go to schools. I had to grind really hard so that I could earn scholarships, and even to this day, like, the scholarships help, but I'm still going to go to school. And my dad was 18. My parents had me when they were really young. My mom was 16 and my dad was Damn, I was wrong about him. My parents had me when they were really young. My mom was 16. And I was super right about her though. My dad Easy. Was 18, and so they did not save up for me to be able to go to school. This is why I get annoyed whenever people shit on PhDs, like the, the number one attacked group of uh, workers in the country by conservative media is PhDs. I had to grind really hard so that I could earn scholarships. And even to this day, like the scholarships help, but I'm still going into like- Oh, that's not the final? It's spot number four. We have Hillary with $7,000. Oh, so I'm right on that one too. That's a lot of money. Wait, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, chat? What's up? I was wrong about the first, uh, the one and two slot, but what's up, chat? What the fuck is up? Not salary. Doesn't matter. He has 215K in a bank, dude. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That means the salary is still solid as shit, even if he has that much in the bank. Is a good amount. Like, I feel oh, good. And then I hear that and I'm like, oh, shoot. <laughs> We I know, I know, I know. In spot number two, we have Jane with the crop. Oh, shit! Wild card. Nice. Oh, my God. And it's spot number one, we have Dominic with $600,000. Oh, my God. I said broke boy. I was so wrong. Holy shit, this dude. Content creator, no, I've never heard of, is like, he got 600K. That's his dream. A dream would have 60 million in the bank. Not that much. Dominic. This year, I made all my money, starting in January. Snapchat had like an, a thing where they were like, okay, top videos get paid a lot, and I won uh, $1 million last month, or uh, three months ago. My latest video, I just- Oh my God, dude, are you kidding me? That, oh my, I'm done, I'm done, dude. I'm done. It's like, you might as well be like, I'm a lottery winner, dude. Oh, you like, what the f He just won the lottery, dude. It was like, I took a fake ID of The Rock. I saw that! Oh, I took the Dominic threw me off a whole lot. I'm not super into social media. I stopped at Facebook. So when he said he was a social whatever, I didn't mean much to me. That's why I put him at the bottom. It could be family money, it can be lottery ticket, whatever it is. Like you just, you never know. Homie just won the lottery, that's it. Yeah, that like, hmm, this is, hmm, hmm. I'd uppercut my old man for 215K and he would understand too. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's kind of, it, it's kind of sussy. So did you, Lamau? Yeah, but I make my money actually off of content creation and not like a one-off, dude. Get out of here. You're really, you're really going to compare, you're really going to compare like my steady cash flow to, to like a dude that made one video and won a million dollars off Snapchat? That's insane. Of course, I won the lottery in the sense that I am profoundly fortunate that I'm able to do what I do, right? And it is a it is a lot like a lottery, and I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. Content creator, one Snapchat, he's not a content creator, he's unemployed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's like silly to to make that comparison. Not all not at all the same man show up every goddamn day. Yeah, no, like like a YouTuber or a TikToker even or someone who like is consistently making consistently making content every single day. And is making money off of like ad uh okay dude steady cash for now it's not a flex dude it's not a flex i still won the lottery i'm still profoundly fortunate god damn it i hate this 
I hate this so much. I can never have a normal conversation without like a bunch of brain dead baboons losing their minds in the chat. Either I'm flexing or I'm lying about my background uh, to, to make myself seem more relatable or some shit. Shut the f up and listen to my words, you dinguses. Oh my God. Stop chimping out in the chat. Why do we have to have this conversation every stream? Yeah, I, I don't. It just sucks. It sucks. It sucks so much. It like ruins my content. It ruins what I do for a living and what I want to do for a living. It like f***s it up every goddamn day. I'm lucky as f but there's a difference between someone who made a million dollars, someone who made a million dollars off of one Snapchat video versus, uh, you know, someone who's like steadily pumping out content. He has 7.4 million TikTok followers. Okay. Well then he is, he is a content creator. My bad. What the f This is how we made a huge version of the candy from Squid Game. So step one, all you have to do is add a ton of sugar into a pot. Now, normally you're going to use a pan if you're making small ones, but we're making a huge one. Bro, TikTok is so weird because like you'll look at this guy's Instagram or whatever. Okay. You look at like a person like this is Instagram and they have like 3K uh, followers. You know what I mean? I don't know how the f he doesn't even have an Instagram. He has a YouTube. 126,000 subs. It's always so wild. Like you can just be like popping on TikTok. Bro, you're in the wrong industry. Put on a faking apron. Let's go. Your TikTok vids can't reference other social media. Wait, really? for real? I think you got to realize they're doing this on purpose to derail you. And then they can be like, look at this dude always talking about himself. I think so too. I think that, I think that actually is the goal and it works. Cause like I have to qualify myself every single time. Like people that bait to be like, dude, you're so rich. F you so I can like respond to it. And then they can be like, dude. Look at him. He's just, he's so full of himself. He's constantly talking about himself. And they successfully derail the convo every single time. Nothing derails the convo like the top of the hour ad break, obviously. But, I, um, you know, because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, obviously, you know. And you could do that for either $5 a month or you could do that for free. <sighs> what? Um, orgasm like a woman every time my orgasm. Oh my god. What the f I Okay, well we're watching that. That's that's piqued my interest. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>